Previously on The Spectacular Spider-Man. With Harry Osborn's help, I can finally find a way to sustain the symbiote. Harry? You're the goblin? But you were our friend. Harry! Answer us! Why are you doing this? Spider-Man? Harry Osborne! Why are you doing this? What? What's going on? Where am I? Don't lie to me! Lie about what? We have you surrounded! Hands up! Damn it! They got away. It seems as if the effects have worn off. No matter. I've got what I needed. Mr. Osborne, there's a call for you on line three. I'll answer it in a second. Hello? Who is this? Hello, Norman. Spider-Man. Nice suit. Cut the crap. We all know that you set up Harry as the Green Goblin. Me? Frame my own son? Why on God's earth would I ever be so selfish? You think that you can just lie to us? You wanted us to be thrown off your trail. But you're lucky Captain Stacy is dead. You would have been arrested the second you came crawling back. Previously, why I didn't come back, Peter, is I had to let things blow over. My disappearance also gave Harry responsibility in his life and helped him become a man. Something I blame his mother for. Become a man? He nearly died trying to be a man. You weren't even there to save Harry when Octavius was attacking your company. What gives you any right to call him your son? You seem to be getting upset. Which is something you don't want me to be. Things have changed. We are stronger. Things have not changed, actually. They are exactly the same. This actually feels like deja vu. Whatever you're planning, it won't matter in the end. I will stop you. Mr. Osborne? What the heck? Barbara! Call security! Spider-Man is intruding! Hello, New York City. This is Jesse Brown from E1 News. The mass vigilante known as Spider-Man has infiltrated Oscorp for the third time in a year, and havoc has seemed to strike, the same as all other times. We have an eyewitness here, Mr. Norman Osborne. Mr. Osborne, please tell us what happened in Oscorp. Why was Spider-Man there? Uh, I couldn't tell you, other than to say that he was there to threaten me. Our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man was threatening you? I'm afraid so. 
I was trying to get a hold of my son, Harry, since I haven't had the faintest clue as to where he's been the whole day. After trying his cell phone for the tenth time, Spider-Man shows up at my window. He starts accusing me of crimes I couldn't possibly have committed, and starts yelling threats at me. What crimes were these? He accused me of being the infamous Green Goblin. The Green Goblin? It's absurd, I know. It's not even plausible. I was working in my office all day. I have plenty Oscorp employees as witnesses. All I know is that Spider-Man is a menace. There you have it, folks. It seems that a new suit isn't the only thing that has changed about Spider-Man. Why did you turn it off, Peter? Come on, Gwen. I can't listen to another one of Osborne's lies any longer. How come he's saying that you were threatening him? Well, I was, kind of. But Gwen, he is the Green Goblin. And he framed his own son. I know, Peter. He obviously isn't going to budge that easy. Of course not, Gwen. That's why I'm on his trail. His moves are unpredictable, and I can't track him anymore without getting even more hatred by New York. Peter, that's the cost of being Spider-Man. You've taken this life and I want you to keep going. Trust me, you'll find the Goblin Guy. I'll eventually. But like I said, I'm stuck right now. The only way I can get closest to... I could go in as Peter Parker. How will that make it any better? I mean, Norman wouldn't be allowed to react, but still, he'd call security on you, right? Said I'd be talking to him. Wait! Harry and I could go into Oscorp and try to close down what we had. That may very well work. But what about Norman? How will you track him if you're with Harry? I'm persuasive. Ha ha. Alright, Gwen. I'm going to need some sleep. See you tomorrow? Gwen, trust me. I will never let anything happen to you. It's not me I'm worried about, Peter. It's you. I'm fine. Thank you. Father, what have you done? Harry, what happened to you? Where were you? Don't play dumb. One minute I'm talking to you, the next minute I'm dressed as the Green Goblin with Spider-Man standing over me. Harry, what are you talking about? I've been here the whole day. Look, it looks like you've been hit in the head. Why don't we get you checked out before we- No, Father! And I saw that crap you put on the news tonight. Spider-Man? A menace? Dad, he saved me! The police were just arriving when he got me there. I could have been caught. Spider-Man saved the Osborne family name. Ow! Dad, what the- Don't you ever say he saved this family again! Do you hear me? Spider-Man has done nothing but ruin this family! Look at us now! That doesn't give you the right to- Son. I came back for you. All for you. I have been trying to make this work, but if you ever take sides against the family again, then you won't have a family to turn on anymore. I'm leaving. <sighs> ah! Where am I? You again. Bond with you. I've already told you. You had one chance. Now it's gone. But you need us to defeat the Green Goblin. Oh yeah? How could you help? Let us bond, and we will show you. No. I have to return it to Oscorp. They need it. Give it to Oscorp! You're essentially saying to hand it over to the Goblin! I accept. Whoa. We feel... different. Wait! We don't have our web shooters! Built-in web shooters? This could be helpful. We told you our gifts can assist you. Big time. Our first job. What's a pretty girl like you doing out here alone? <laughs> Get away from me! Come here, you little crap! What do you think you're doing? Spider-Man! Oh, crap! Dude, I'm sorry! Sorry isn't good enough! Ow! What are you doing? I thought you don't kill! Change of plans, buddy. This isn't what we agreed on, symbiote. 
Let him go! He hasn't done any real harm. Fine. Fuck. Uh. Yeesh. 4 a.m. Oh, whatever. Oh, God, I overslept! Crap! Let's just hope Harry won't flip. I really hate elevators. Why? Well, after that four-armed guy was breaking into here, I was trapped in one of the elevators. So, uh, yeah. Not a fun experience. I got stuck in an elevator once. It was with my Uncle Ben. And? I'll tell you about it some other time. Harry Osborne, nice to finally meet you. And a friend. Parker, sir. Parker? Richard's boy? Yeah. Oh, I apologize for my awful matters. I am Alistair Smythe, but you may call me just Smythe. It seems the nickname has stuck. Alrighty, Smythe. Harry, I'm sorry to say this, but... Operation Symbiote is going to have to shut down. Because the Goblin came in and wrecked the entire thing. And to be quite honest, I'm not even sure how this company is even going to stand. People from all over the world came to see the presentation, and now they are scared out of their minds. On even daring to come back to see any types of projects without some goblin coming and shooting. Are you sure? There's nothing we can do to bring it back. Well, the symbiote is missing as well. If you were wondering about the GPS we installed, its transmission was lost. I know you and Edward wanted to bring back your father's legacy, but I'm afraid it's over now. <sighs> Two months of work for nothing. Why did the Goblin have to return? He has just jeopardized the stake of the company. You think he has some sort of vendetta against us? Ah, hello gentlemen. Smith, Harry, and Peter Parker. Glad to see you're back, Mr. Osborne. Yes, it's great to be back. And Smith, what you were saying about Osborne being shut down may seem to be false. I still run this company, and I have major plans for its revival. Well, Dad, is there anything you can do to help this project and not just your own? Well, first things first. We need the symbiote back. Dad, it's gone! We don't know where it is! It can adapt to anything and camouflage with anything. For all we know, it could still be in this very room. Correct, my son. It could be anywhere. But all we need to do is find out how Richard Parker and Edward Brock made it. Apologies, I ran a little late. All fine, my lad. Oh my god, Norman Osborne! Let me tell you, sir. Your son has been a very great kid and kept your company well in shape. Great to know. We were just speaking about the Symbiote Project. Edward, would you know how the Symbiote is created? Well, I know it was a combination of their blood but combined with some sort of intelligent bacteria. To, to be quite honest, I'm not sure how it's made. Well, I guess the search is on. I'll have my greatest scientists create a device to track it down. Okay, let's think about this. The symbiote couldn't have gone far. I'm sure a device isn't needed. And how would you know, Mr. Parker? I, I don't know. I'm just saying. Suggestions aren't really needed right now. Well, I better be going then. Seriously, Dad? Uh, kids. Something to get my mind off things. Surrender, and I'll consider letting you go. Get the hell out of my face. Help! Oh my god, help! What the hell was that, Spidey? That guy can drown. He's scum. I should teach him a lesson. That is not the way we do things, Spider-Man. One more thing like that, and I'll report you to Captain Mullig. Whatever. Hello, gentlemen. How is the status on the tracker? Well, Mr. Osborne, we are now just beginning the prototypes, but I don't think we'll have something finished for a few months to even blueprints. A few months? 
That's preposterous. I give you my best gear and you take such little time. Well, sir, it's not like we are trying to go as fast as we can. But there's a limit in how fast we can go. You do want it to work, correct? <sighs> it's fine. My apologies for getting angry. Thank you, sir. Jonah, we need to print a retraction. For what? I haven't done a retraction for over 20 years. Mr. Jameson, you have a call on line one. I'm busy, Miss Brent. The press are going crazy, JJ. They want to hear more about Spider-Man's new suit and the Goblin's tirade. Here, I have a story. Spider-Man and Goblin teaming up and killing civilians. Sounds about right. Jonah. That puts the creep in his place. New headline. Soblin attacks. Soblin? You know, the thing kids are doing these days. Hashtag Soblin. Put that on Twitter, why don't you? Are you combining Goblin and Spider-Man's names? Sure am. Pretty clever, huh? That's for couples, Jonah. What are you for, Robbie? Get out of my office! Like a genie! May I have a copy of today's issue? Sure thing. Wait a sec. You're Peter Parker, aren't you? Yeah. How do you know me? You're the one that stabs Spidey's picks, aren't you? Yeah. You got some rad shots. Rock on, dude. Thanks. Not this crap again. Tough day, buddy. I... guess... Dad? Yes, son? I'm really sorry about yelling at you and stuff. And... accusing you. I understand why you would think I would frame you. But Harry, my son, I would never go that far. I know. And I'm sorry for everything. You are forgiven. Now, let's get some brunch. Leonardo, bring Harry and I our finest meal. Very well, sir. On what to drink with that? Dr. Pepper. I will have a fine bottle of wine. What flavor? Pumpkin. Very well, sir. So, Harry, how a course is going at Empire State University? Not very good at all, actually. I'm feeling two subjects. Two subjects? What have you been doing? I've been trying to live my life. School is just a waste of time. I've got better things to do. School is your life. I don't pay for you to go to college for nothing, do I? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's not like I was the CEO of a company for a year or anything. Funny. As if you believed you did anything. I was responsible for the symbiote. Oh, no, Harry. Parker and Brock were. You were the middleman, as they would say. And what do you do exactly? I run this company. I created this legacy with hard work and sweat. I don't think you understand. You have it good. My father was a failure and blamed everything on me. I strive to be better than him, and I am. Sorry, I... I didn't mean to start this whole conversation. How's progress going on tracking the symbiote? Eh, uh, decent, nonetheless. Why is that? The device they're working on is planned to take a few months to even blueprint. A few months? Really? I thought they were your best scientists. They are. Something that Richard doesn't want was someone stealing his work easily. He made his symbiote artificially intelligent to adapt away from the GPS. One for you, Mr. Osborne. Your food will be ready soon. Okay, Dad, I may know where the symbiote is, but this is only between me and you. I'm all ears. Spider-Man, I think he's still a symbiote, and along with that, to make it look like it was you, framed me for being the goblin. Spider-Man, hmm? Very good guess, Harry. You could be right. Problem is, you made him too afraid to show up at Oscar without a SWAT team trying to arrest him. Well, anyone who tries to threaten me will not go off nicely. Well, we need bait for Spider-Man. We can try to find the symbiote's weak points and get the symbiote off of Spider-Man and bring it back. And how will we find the weaknesses? Well, I don't know. That's where I need your help. Ah, well, we're going to need to find Spider-Man first, correct? Yeah, but where can we find him? Easy. Bait. Who would the bait be? Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy? What makes you say her? She's one of my classmates, and she's Peter's girlfriend. Have you not caught on? Peter Parker is Spider-Man. What? Peter's my friend. You might have thought he was. But ever since we've met him, he was Spider-Man. How... 
How come he hasn't told me? Because you aren't his friend, Harry. Wait, how did you know he was Spider-Man? Two filet mignon fresh off the grill. Thank you, Leo. No problem, Mr. Osborne. Is there anything else you want? No, thank you. We should be good. Go get some sleep, Leo. Thank you. Harry, I'm the Green Goblin. You're... the Goblin? Yes. Yes, I am, Harry. What? Well, why? It all started when the Vulture was at Oscorp. His name was Adrian Toomes. I hired him. Then, I asked him to get a sample of Spider-Man's blood. And as requested, he did so. I took the blood sample to Dr. Mendel Strom to get the powers extracted into my DNA to become my own Spider-Man of sorts. It went wrong, and I received major amnesia and went crazy. I went on a killing spree, for God's sakes. Wait a second. If you're the goblin, where the hell have you been for this past year? When I was fighting Parker at Oscorp, he used one of my own pumpkin bombs against me. I had survived, but only by a close one. I had to get away while the smoke hadn't cleared. As soon as I got out of there, I hid in the outskirts of San Francisco. You killed innocent people? Don't you see, Harry? I'm not the villain here. It's Parker. Have you forgotten about what he's done? No, I haven't forgotten. Now, down to business. I'm sorry, Dad. Ah, isn't that cute? Oh my God. You can't run, little girl. No need to be so hostile. I just want to meet your boyfriend. Or, should I say, Spider-Man? Who do you work for? Why should I say anything? Because if you don't, in a few seconds you won't be able to breathe. You're, you're bluffing. Ah! Oh, okay, okay, I work for the Purple Dragons. I don't know where they are. I never go to them. They always come to me. Thanks for the ah! Hello? You have a very beautiful girlfriend, Peter. What have you done? Oh, nothing, my old friend. Meet me at the George Washington Bridge, and nothing could change to something. If you harm her in any way, I swear to God. Sounds like a plan, Spidey. Meet you there. Peter's coming here right now, and when he does get here, you're as good as dead. I'm looking forward to it. Why? Listen, honey. There's some things you aren't gonna understand unless you're in my shoes. And when you're in my shoes, it's every man for himself. It's survival. Took you long enough. I was contemplating whether or not to kidnap your aunt as well. Sir, I need you to take her to the shore. She needs medical attention. There's a blockade. I would need to take a detour. We don't have time for this. Get her to the shore. Having fun, Spider-Man? This isn't even close to my definition of fun! You're gonna kill us both! Then we both ah! die, Osborne! <laughs> this is how it's going to end, Osborne. Your lifeless corpse on the street. Guts strewn everywhere. But, but, you've, you've changed! You'd never do this! I guess I have. You thought you'd get rid of me so easily. Ah! Come back here! Ah! We have to get to shore quickly. We are going to the shore, miss. What? Chose this, Parker. You should have known someday a tragedy like this would happen, Parker. Am I right? Because 
You can't always be a hero. You're right. After what I'm about to do, I consider myself a villain. Hey, what the hell? Get out of the road, you bastard. Not this time, Osborne. Not again. Never again! Spider-Man, stop! What the? Mulligan? He's not worth it, Spidey! I know how it feels. That green bastard killed some of my best men. And my closest friends. I know you want to do it. You took people you care about away from the world. And you know what? As soon as you end his life, yours is finished. And you're no better than that piece of garbage! My life already ended with Gwenda. Spider-Man? What are you doing? It's not safe, ma'am. Saving the city. Are you gonna kill that man? Yes. Huh. Yes, he is. Shut up! Don't kill him, please. He'll be like the mean man that killed my daddy. You're supposed to be the hero. You're the hero, Spidey. Oh, yeah, Spidey. Spidey. You did the right thing today, kid. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Why? Why did you not end him? We are in the perfect position to fear. No. I've had enough of your advice. I don't want to cross that line anymore. Gwen wouldn't want it either. <laughs> Gwen was a victim of Norman, and more important, an obstacle between us. Peter, listen to me. We could be unstoppable together if you could only truly embrace the raw power that surges within you. An obstacle? Is that how you viewed her? An obstacle? Did you just call my girlfriend an obstacle? What? We're through. I'm done with this. You can't wash us off, Parker. Whoa! What the hell? What's happening to me? What are you turning me into? Why are we here? To get you off of me! You cannot get rid of us. The bond is too permanent to stop now. It's in this room! Vibrations. You don't like them. You need us! Not anymore! Gwen's untimely death was a great surprise to all of us. Gwen Stacy was the most beautiful and sincere person I have ever met, and I was lucky enough to call her my girlfriend. I feel as though I have lost my life too, because my life and my world was Gwen. Gwen Stacy was a very close friend of mine. All she ever tried to do was be kind. She never deserved to die. My dear fellow Christians, let us commend Gwendolyn Stacy to the mercy of God. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. That is very well said, Peter. Gwen would have loved it. Thank you, Harry. Just hope they catch the man behind this. Ha! <laughs> That's something I would have expected Spider-Man to say. Drop the act. 
You know my father was the one who killed her, and you are Spider-Man. What? Harry, are you listening to yourself? Just tell me the truth for once, Parker. My father was right about you. Your father? You mean the Green Goblin? The one who left you? The one who murdered Gwen in cold blood? You're going to believe him? At least he has the decency to tell me the truth. He never meant to hurt Gwen, but Spider-Man, you got in the way. You stole the symbiote. You have been the one causing the problems in my family. You were the reason my father left. Harry, please, not here, not now. Yes, I am Spider-Man, and yes, I had the symbiote, but you don't understand. You have to stop listening to your father, Harry. He's corrupting you. Don't you dare try and tell me that, Parker. This is the last time you tricked me into betraying my family. And Parker, it was your fault she died. If it wasn't for Spider-Man, she would still be alive right now. So think about who the real menace is. So sorry. This will never happen again. Ever. To anyone. Spider-Man will not harm anyone. Anymore. Not everyone can win. Today I've lost someone very important to me. My true love. But the Goblin won. And he killed Spider-Man. One thing he failed to do was kill Peter Parker as well. This city has gone to corruption and no matter what I could ever do, it wouldn't change the fact that these psychos would just keep coming back. Some of them don't even mean any harm, but yet they get stuck in the madness caused by others. My best friend is now against me due to the lies of his father. I would soon realize that Spider-Man had nothing to do with any of his problems. In this world, there are many innocent people. But there are some who go down a dark road, just like how I did with the symbiote. The persuasion and the right conflict causes you to lose it, and have vengeance take over. Sometimes, even though you feel like you are doing it for the right cause, sometimes it doesn't matter. Since you happen to be doing more wrong than right, which is what Spider-Man has caused. Tons of deaths have occurred because of my clumsiness. Now it's officially time to stop. It's not like I swept most of the baddies in New York. It's mostly thanks to the Avengers and all those other heroes. Goodbye. Forever. Forever.